everyone. Welcome back to Danielle's Decor. Well, today I wanted to work on the window above my kitchen sink. And <laughs> as you can see, it looks out onto my sun porch. And my sun porch out there is kind of a catch-all at the moment. I have purged a bunch of stuff in my craft room and my bedroom and throughout the house and everything kind of landed out there on the sun porch until I can get it hauled off to Goodwill. So I'm waiting for my son to get a little bit of extra time so we can throw it all in his truck and get it all taken down there because there's furniture and all kinds of different things that I need to get rid of. <laughs> so you can kind of see I got a little bit of a mess going. But I wanted to work on this window right here and usually um, before I have, these are, are kind of like my everyday curtains like this. And I had these hanging up, you know, in the spring and with my Easter stuff. My mom made me these curtains. We bought the fabric at uh, Hobby Lobby a while back because I wanted something with the pink. So she made me these. But I wanted to change it out so that it would kind of go with my summer and into my patriotic a little bit more. But because I'm changing my curtains so often, and truthfully, before I had YouTube, when I was doing my channel, I didn't change my curtains out. No matter what the season, these stayed up all the time. Well, now it kind of bugs me because it doesn't really go with the flow of everything else. So I wanted something that I could kind of use for summer and maybe going into fall, but I didn't, you know, curtains can get expensive. And for some reason, little curtain valances or kitchen valances are really hard to find. I don't know why. <laughs> But I've looked all over, I've looked online trying to find some that, you know, I liked. These right here, I, like I said, I had to have my mom make and I really didn't want to have to have her make me some more. So I ended up going to Walmart and I picked up three sets of these little dish towels like this. And they're kind of got the little waffle texture to them. But it was $5 for two towels. Two towels covers one window. So I'm gonna take these and then I'm gonna just kind of lay them out like that. And then I bought some of these little cafe rods like this. And these little things are awesome. Let me see if I can go ahead and open them and I'll show you kind of what they do. They're just little rings like this. And then when you squish them like that, they open up and grab. So I just think that they're, for hanging curtains and things like that, these are awesome are a great little option. <laughs> Y'all cannot talk. I'm in the middle of a hot flash, so if I'm looking a little red, that's why. I've been cleaning, 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 but I wanted to get to work on this and do something kind of pretty on the windowsill. There's not a lot of space. It's very narrow, so I can't put a whole lot up there, but I kind of have an idea of what I want to do, so hopefully it'll turn out cute. <laughs> anyway, um, I did want to share with you guys, when I went to Trees and Trends the other day, um, they actually have clothes in Trees and Trends. And they had some cute little tops. And I bought that little gray top that you see me in my last video with the little flowers on the sleeve. That actually came from Trees and Trends. And I picked this one up because I thought it was super cute for summer. <laughs> like that. So I feel very festive. And uh, Balks, they actually have a... a a great website if you guys want to check it out. It's a department store. It's kind of like um, a Penny's or a Dillard's or a Macy's, something like that. But they have these little canvas tennis shoes called Jelly Pops. Let me see if I can, I got one on. Let me pull it off my foot here. They have these, like this. Just little canvas Jelly Pop shoes <laughs> for like $20. These things are so comfortable and they're so cute, my hairs. I tried to do something different with my hair today and it's kind of doing its own thing but anyway they had these in a bunch of different colors and they are so comfortable so I picked up a few pair of these I have a red pair and pink and then I have some with little stripes on them just adorable and they look really cute I'll try to put it back on my foot now <laughs> they look really cute in the summertime so I'm feeling very patriotic and summery today <laughs> So, anyway, let me go ahead and I'm going to point you guys down here to the counter and we'll work on the curtains and then uh, I'll take you guys over there and we'll set up that window. But, I'll be right back. 
All right, well, I got my curtain rod sitting here, and this is just a little tension rod that I use up there in that window. And then I'm just gonna take my little two-pack of towels here. And y'all are gonna learn that I'm horrible with, I hate ironing. So, the other ones I did for the window over in the dining area, I didn't iron those, but eventually they kinda fall off, so. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna lay these out. And I wanna keep my tags in the same spot. So. All right, so I got one kind of laid on top of the other. I'm gonna drop these out. And there's 14 in a package of these right here. So basically I'm gonna start at my corner and I'm gonna clip. Where I clip one, I'm gonna clip the other one. So Y'all can't see that. So that they're all in the same spot. When I did the other one, I clipped it in a blue area. So, we'll just keep kind of working our way down here. On these. And it just takes two seconds. You just pinch them together and they just clip right on. With placemats, use little placemats or table runners as little balances, they work great too. So now that we got that, I'm gonna go ahead and put this on my rod here. And then we'll get it hung up. There. So there we go. $5 kitchen curtains. <laughs> Not too shabby. But let me get this hung up and then we'll get to work on, I wanted to make a little wreath to go over there on the windowsill and we'll do that and then we'll start putting everything up. Now we're gonna work on this little grapevine wreath. And I think this is an old one that I had from Hobby Lobby a while back. And I picked up, I picked up some of this greenery with these little blueberries on it. I just thought that was super cute. Now I'm going to be using a lot of this out in the living room. So I thought I'd just cut a couple pieces off and use on this little wreath right here. So basically, I'm just going to take a couple pieces of my greenery wire. I'm going to kind of wire these in here. pieces on here and get it a little bit tighter. And so I'm just going to wire those right here in the center and I kind of want to pull my sides down and get my berries kind of wired into my wreath. So I'm going to add another little piece on here. some of these berries right here. But I want them to stay kind of rounded in the shape of my wreath and follow this curve so they don't stand kind of straight out. But it's a little harder to get that through. There it goes. Ah, it turned on me. You guys probably can't see what I'm doing. Alright. So. I 
that we have those kind of laid on there. I have some of these little chalkboard signs and these are from Target I believe and I just wrote yum on it. So I want to hang this. I'm going to hook it into this little wire that I wrapped them two together with. I know it's really hard to see. I'm so sorry. <laughs> but I kind of want it to sit at a little bit of an angle like that. So that it just kind of hangs like that. And then I was thinking I wanted to take a little piece of ribbon. I don't want to make a bow on this because it's such a small wreath that a bow I think would just kind of overpower it. So I just want to take a little piece of this ticking, it's blue, it kind of looks black on there, but it is navy blue. Um, this little ticking ribbon. This is from Walmart. It's like five dollars a roll. I looked online to try to find some. Nobody had any, so <laughs> I ended up just going to Walmart and picking one up there. I'm thinking I'm gonna go outside of this. This little chalk sign here. Everything's twisting on me. Basically, I'm just going to wrap that around and tie it. Maybe I'll knot it. I'll just put a little knot right there. Go ahead and trim that off there. So, we just kind of tied it in a little knot on there. Gonna fix my, my edges. I don't want my tails really long. Like I said, this is just a little wreath. So, I just want kind of a little bow on it. Just something to give it a little bit of texture. Like that. So. There we go. Just a cute little wreath. I want it to sit like this with my, I might need to readjust everything when I get it over there with my little sign hanging down. So that is all I'm going to do for that. And then we'll go over here and we'll get to work on this window sill. I'll be right back. Okay guys, now that we're over here, I did grab my little glue dots because we'll need a couple of them. So I want to take this little white charger that I have. And honestly, you guys, you can probably see my wreaths hang out there on the wall on the sun porch. That's how I hang them and store them is out there. But well, that's what you're seeing. My sun porch, like I said, is just kind of a catch-all for everything. But I'm going to use my little glue dots like this just to kind of keep my plate from sliding around and falling off of my thing. So, just to kind of keep it, because I don't have room to sit it on a, on like a plate stand. So, this ledge is probably two and a half inches wide and that's not it. But, here's my little wreath, like that. I just think that's so cute, I love that blue on there. And I want this to kind of sit up here in that little spot. And I might see if I can maybe sticky dot this to my plate so that it doesn't fall either. When my husband and my kids come through the back door, they tend to slam that door. And anything that is precariously sitting up here on this windowsill will fall. <laughs> so, and I'm going to go ahead and use my little bakery sign like this. I want this to kind of sit over here on this side. And I'm going to go ahead and glue that at the bottom of this too. I just don't want things sliding anywhere. So I'm going to stick that right up there. 
And then I have one of these little uh, cupcake stands from Target for a dollar. So I want that to sit right there with one of my little greenery balls up here on top. And then I have three of these little faux pears like that. And I'm gonna put one kind of over here. And then I'm gonna put one right there and the other one right there. And I think I'm gonna sticky dot those down as well so that they don't go anywhere. <laughs> I've already, I was playing with it the other day and I did lose one of the pears when my husband came in the back door. I had them sitting up here. So, I'm going to keep them from going anywhere. And that's all I got. Just a cute little summertime thing. There's my curtain. And then up there, I've had a lot of you guys ask me about this piece right here. And this is just one of the wrought iron metal pieces from Hobby Lobby. And when we moved into this kitchen, it was, let me kind of get back in here so I can talk to you. When we moved into this house, this kitchen was bright red. All the cabinets were this ugly, real dark red color. And it was so dark in here. And I painted all the cabinets, I changed everything, I changed the light fixtures. And right here, when I got to this part, there was like the old scalloped wood piece that went across here. And I didn't really care for it. It just didn't look right. So my husband cut the piece out with a sawzall. And then I bought this wrought iron piece. And then I made a little uh, metal frame to go around it. And I kind of welded like these little pieces that connect it on the sides. And I welded it into that frame. And then we just screwed it in there. So we do have a welder out in the shop. And it wasn't hard to do. You can kind of see a little bit better on this one. These are just little tiny metal pieces that my husband cut and then I just welded that to my little wrought iron piece and then we put it in there. I painted it all black. So that is the little part above my window right there. But let me get you guys down and I'll kind of give you a little closer look and you can see what I did. I'll be right back. Hey guys, here's kind of the kitchen window and I'll pull back so you can see everything above it so those little towels work perfectly as curtains for five dollars curtains hey there you go <laughs> and I love the blue and the kind of the buffalo plaid it matches with the farm feel of the kitchen and then here's my 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 bow is kind of going everywhere I'm trying to my ribbons doing its own thing but there is that Cute little wreath, simple, just two little pieces of berry and some ribbon, a little chalkboard sign. And this thing's shifting on me. A couple little pears down there, a little bakery sign, and another little pear right there. And that's it. That's all I'm going to do for this area right here. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Till next time, thanks for watching. Bye.